CSA, is that what it is? No. Yeah, CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, and it's like a subscription program for food. So um, for most CSAs, you pay in the beginning of the season, which is really helpful for farmers because it guarantees a market for us. It provides seed money for early season supplies, and it allows us to plan for a certain amount of production. Right. So it takes a lot of the risks and problems out of farming right. by paying up front. And then in exchange, we curate this wonderful experience for you where you come to the farm every week and you pick up a range of either vegetables or meat or vegetables and meat, depending on what you're getting. Um, there's all kinds of CSAs these days. It's about a concept that's about 30 years old, right. and CSA is a concept that has been extremely influential in bringing farms back into, into production in rural areas. Right. Um, one of the reasons that Hudson Valley is full of small organic farm now is because of the CSA. Is that right? Yeah. And you were saying that, that you, you sell wholesale to restaurants and to other things, but you, there's a special pleasure in working with your CSA. Yeah, that's what, right. What is that? Well, we started the CSA, we started our farm really uh, wanting to kind of create a certain kind of food experience. Um, we come from strong food traditions personally, uh, I come from a culinary background, and there's a lot you can communicate, I think, through food. Um, so we started our farm with the intention of doing a whole diet CSA, which is a range of proteins, uh, meat, eggs, vegetables, and some special things that we can produce on the farm. And it's a way of sort of connecting with the land and providing a food experience that can be really meaningful, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do that, we do our best to do that for our CSA. So there's about 25 families that pick up food every week on our farm and uh, they can make most of their meals or at least a significant portion of their food from our farm directly. And we kind of get to like group foods together that go well together and grow things that are really special to us and we like to share. So yeah. it's sort of our, our most personal connection with our customers. Right. And you do have a you have a connection with that family. You know what's on the table, what they're eating tonight. Cause yeah, it's fun. People Instagram posts to you know, like post little right. pictures, and it's like entirely meals made from ingredients from our farm. And right. I think that's a really special experience when you when you can make a meal entirely from one place. It sort of does something in your mind where you you really get that the food comes from the ground and right. it's close by and you yeah. feel connected to it and it's sort of a different eating. I'm assuming it makes all the difference for the kids in those families, that they know you and they see the food and they make connections. That... Yeah, and they get to, we have a you pick garden so people come and snip flowers and we have uh, rabbits on the farm so wow. people like to bring, them, bring their kids by and right. you know, look at the rabbits and that kind yeah. of thing.